Okay, hello and welcome to Branch Players Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I built. Okay, I think hard mode must be the normal mode, so I'm gonna go with that, and I'll be right back once we get into gameplay. day in September, an ordinary day in Raccoon City, a city controlled by Umbrella. No one dared to oppose them, and that lack of strength would ultimately lead to their destruction. I suppose they had to suffer the consequences of their actions, but there would be no forgiveness. If only they had had the courage to fight. It's true that once the wheels of justice begin to turn, nothing can stop them. Nothing. It was Raccoon City's last chance, and my last chance. My last escape. Farewell to my life, farewell to my home. This is my last chance for survival. This is my last escape. And with those cryptic words and an explosion, we are directly into gameplay. Just like in RE2, we are immediately in danger. Also, I'm gonna try to pull this zombie away and then go around the side. 10 out of 10, we managed to dodge it. No damage on the first screen, I think. September 28th, daylight. The monsters have overtaken the city. Somehow, I'm still alive. Okay, we've got to get out of here. What? What do you think you're talking about? I just lost my daughter out there! How dare you tell me to go back outside? I'm sorry about your daughter, but there isn't going to be any rescue. We have to get out of here! No! I'm not going anywhere! I'd rather starve to death in here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters! Now leave me alone! Just get away from me. 
The container is locked from inside. That seems ridiculously unsafe, but okay. So, first things first, I need to, uh... Okay, that's a first aid spray. I will take that. And that is a near-full inventory right off the bat. But what's this do? This is a foot. Yeah, 30 handgun bullets. I assumed it was 30 because, pretty much, I think that's what it was in RE2. I think it's 15 in RE1, but I'm pretty sure it's 30 in 2. And I know that this was, you know, made of roughly about the same time. Like, this was 1999, and 2 was 98. So I kind of just assumed it would be the same. That, and also, this game was a lot more action-focused than RE1, and I think even more so than 2. Okay, so... Okay, I'll take the warehouse key, because no doubt we will need that. And a delivery voucher book. Various reports are reported here. And I'll take some ink ribbons, just to kind of drop those off immediately. And while I'm here, let's read some game instructions. Game instructions uh, explains about all this, and event scenes. Uh, we, hoped, uh, we hope you improve your chances to survive shooting objects. Uh, R2 aim directly at these, these objects. Quick turn. Okay. Emergency escape. When you're trapped by enemies, you can push from away to escape. Press for directional buttons, action button, cancel button, run. Okay, so I basically just need to mash and hit the triggers. Okay. Emergency dodge. Just before an enemy attacks. Next, you can, uh... Okay. And then I can climb up stuff. I can look at a map. And then there's a lot of the live selection options. Okay. And what is this one? What does the other one say? I assume this will explain about... Yeah, uh, basically how to make different bullet types. Um, use that. Reloading tool. This is necessary in item if you want to create different types of ammunition. By combining the gunpowder and reloading tool, various types of ammunition will be created. Uh, basic gunpowder is A, B, and C. C is created by mixing A and B. Okay, so A is handgun, B is shotgun, C is grenade, C plus A is flame, C plus B is acid, C plus C is freeze, and three C's is magnum rounds. Okay. Okay, fair enough. I will, I'll, I'll, uh, you know, look over those at another time. Like, I'll give those a much better looking over at another time where I might be, uh, you know, more in the need of them. However... It seems like this game has a lot more zombies. Like, just right off the bat, that that looked like there was going to be a lot. So let's combine this. Okay, that makes 15. I'll keep one for now and just make... Yeah, I'll keep one for now, just to, just for safety. And other, I might as well put the reloading tool away just for now. I'm going to keep the first aid spray just on the off chance that something bad happens. <laughs> Because I know my luck, something bad is probably going to happen. So, I have never actually played this game. I played the, I played the remake in my free time roughly this time last year. And other than that... Actually, I'm going to go check on this guy one more time. Other than that, I've never actually played this original version. Aside from like 10 minutes just to make sure it worked. Okay, yeah, container still locked from inside. So, let's uh, head on out and see what Raccoon City has in store for us. You've used the warehouse key. You no longer need this. Will we discard it? Yes. Off we go into the city. Okay. I probably shouldn't run everywhere. I will say, though, Jill seems to run really fast. I don't know if that's, like, compared just to RE1, which I played fairly recently, or what. Well, she does seem very fast. Oh, there was a zombie there. Okay. Okay, let's uh, run back and shoot it like a big hero. Two, three, four, down. One, two, dead. Ten, ten, dead. One, two, three, four, down. Hasn't bled out, though. One, two, three, four, five. So that's nine shot. Okay. That should be it dead now. Okay. I am already using a lot more ammo than I would have expected. Oh, there's a third zombie here. Okay. 
I have a feeling that this game might be, uh... I have a feeling that this one may end up being the time where I start, you know, actually running out of ammo. Okay, that's dead. Fantastic. Great. Great, great, great. Is there anything hidden behind these dumpsters or anything? Doesn't look like it. But on the plus side, we've gotten rid of all the enemies so far. A strong barricade has been set up here. Okay. Oh, I bet I was probably supposed to, uh, like, lure them over and shoot that barrel, wasn't I? That seems like a much better solution. Yeah, that seems like that probably was how I was meant to do that. But hey, we got... Oh. A wrecked car is blocking the way. But... Okay, very clearly there is something there, because that, because that door has a different texture, but clearly I can't do anything with it, or at least the game won't let me. So that's a little bit concerning. Maybe there is some ammo or something there, and that's another zombie, because of course it is. You know what, I'm going to leave that one, and hopefully I just won't need to come back through here. There was also a side alley there, it looked like a side alley, I probably should have taken that as well. Okay, off we go. Another street. Do I have a map yet? I do, okay. Do I do I still need to find the maps? Okay. Let's try to open my door. Okay. Bye, whoever that was. And I am just gonna run away like a big hero and just let these zombies kinda come to me. And then I will shoot them as I can. Cause this seems like quite a few. Like, quite an alarming few. Oh no, I didn't count my bullets. I didn't count my bullets. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna dip out that room. I know it'll probably reset the amount of damage about that one taken. But I think it might be for the best. Wait, where... Where is this? Oh! This is back where I came in from. Okay, so it's probably, like, reset their positions, if nothing else. Or, you know dispersed them around somewhere else and made it even more and made it even worse two three four five okay that one just died outright that's good can i go down here looks like it ten out of ten. Oh, there's another zombie in here two three four and that one is gonna get back up okay but that's a shotgun that is a shotgun and some light air oil. Okay. I mean, realistically, I'm more excited about getting the shotgun, but still. Although, the... Hang on, wait. Where did he run out from? There was only one way in or out from here. Okay, I am gonna have to try and knock this one down and then just go for it. No, there's another zombie in here. You know what? I'm not... I don't like having to do this so early, but... What if I just pulled the shotgun, waited, and just... Well, it wasn't how I wanted that to go, but it worked, so... I guess I can't really complain. But... Okay, my one... My one kind of consolation right now is that I know he'll be making an appearance at some point, but the game won't just drop Nemesis on me. Basically, my only degree of confidence right now comes from I know that Nemesis is introduced in a cutscene and won't just randomly appear until that happens. I had that same thing happen with Alien Isolation when I played it. Okay, I say when I played it, I played like the first hour or two. Like, I don't even know how long ago it was when I played that. It was an extremely long time ago. I never finished Alien Isolation. I probably should go back to it. It's locked from the other side. Okay, so I guess we'll have to come back through here. That's... Uh, can I go around the side here? No, I cannot. That's blocked off. Okay, maybe I should use a shotgun and try to blast all these. But hey, if I can dodge around stuff, maybe it's worth it to save the ammo. Is there something up there? Nope, just door's been sealed. Well, there's probably someone... It sounds like there's someone getting eaten on the other side of there. Okay, that looks like... If there's two there, I'm just going to shotgun them. That is two. 
and bang. 10 out of 10. That's one of my favorite things. I love the sound of just the double head part. Two, three, four. Okay, th this I think is going to be something I'm going to have to get used to. Because very clearly the zombies in this game are weirdly fast. Like, I don't know, these seem a lot faster than they were in RE2. Ooh, and also in RE1. Also, I saw a zombie was making its way towards me here, but I also saw, you know... Wait, this looks like where... I don't know, this fire axe, it looks like a key item thing. It looks like I might have to put something in there later, but obviously I don't currently have anything like that. But hey, I'm not going to complain by getting more healing items, although the fact that the game is giving me so many healing items so early uh, kind of concerns me just a little bit. Okay, that one's going away, so I can, you know, jump down and run away like a big hero. And this should, assumably, take me at least towards that bar. Because I assume I'll be able to loop back and in. I think. Okay. Oh, that's more... that's gunshots. Oh, it's... Oh, wait, I know who that is. That's Brad. But... That's Brad and the bravest uh, we've ever seen him be. Oh, that one, I can't see. Okay, that one's dead. Fantastic. Is that, that was not an item that I could pick up. It just looked like it could have been. A discarded toy box. Okay. One, two, three, four. You dead, buddy? Yes, it is. Okay, that is actually really good, because I am actually going to run out of ammo. Maybe it give me... Okay, I guess I need the square crank for that. Maybe it gave me that. Okay, this looks like the bar. Like, that w like wooden door? I think this is the bar. Oh, uh, do I have to help him here? Uh, I don't have any other ammo, Brad, so you're kind of on your own for this. Brad, hang in there. Why isn't someone doing something about this? I didn't know you were still alive, Jill. The police aren't trained for this kind of situation. What could they do? Listen, he's coming for us. We're both gonna die. What are you saying? You'll see. He's after STARS members. There's no escape. And with that cryptic warning, Brad uh, leaves for now. Clock Tower postcard. A picture postcard of a clock tower. We'll be coming back to this later in the game. The following explanation is printed on the back side. A landmark spot. Uh, uh, the, a landmark spot. The St. Michael Clock Tower. So we'll be coming back to that way later in the game. Is there anything behind here? That. Okay, it is time to mix some herbs and pick up some bullets. Okay, we do find them in packs of 30. My suspicion was correct. So let's quickly reload this handgun, because I, uh, well, I know that I'm going to be going back outside, and, uh, yeah, I'd rather have a loaded gun than a not loaded one, you know? And that is a lighter. I guess I'll just mix two more herbs. I know I could have made uh, a free herb thing, but honestly, I feel like the lighter would make more sense to go with uh, this. Okay. Okay. Okay, so now I just need to find something to use that on. I also might have to move immediately because because there were zombies still out here. Uh, okay. It said the door of a boutique was locked, so I can safely say I don't need to go there. That door's been sealed. Okay, there's nothing there for me. There's evidently not... Wait, was there a second pathway over there? No, there was not. Okay, where do I go here? Uh... That 
looks like a promising route. What, so, what if I just go No! I could- Oh, that was the guy who was getting eaten earlier, of course. The passage is completely blocked off. So, I guess I'm just gonna be running around the block again. Unless I've been- Unless I'm going the wrong way, which would be pretty embarrassing, but also rather on brand. Okay, uh... What's this? Can I go this way? I can! Okay, so what's over here? This is... Oh, that sounds like a lot of them. So obviously, I'm go- Oh, and there looks like something. Okay, so... How close do I have to get here? Because I feel pretty confident saying that's gonna go. It's been bound tight with a rope and won't open. The rope seems to be soaked with oil. Okay, time to run away like a big hero. And now... Okay, we got the explosion. It didn't kill them all. Oh dear. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Shotgun time. Okay, that took out two. Oh, and I saw two, and I see two red herbs there as well. Okay, what if I don't do that? I also just hit entirely the wrong buttons there. But maybe I can loop around here. Turn out of turn. Uh, I am most of the way dead already. Not a great start for me. Let's, uh... Wait, can I combine these? No, I can't. Okay, let's just heal back to full health. Grab this second red herb. And... I guess... Actually, no way. I can just run past here. So that was more wasted ammo. And now... Uh, I use the lighter. And that should let me get through here. I assume. Okay. 10 out of 10. We are safe for now. Okay. Well, that's... Well, that's still on fire. That's a dog. That's a dog. That's another dog. Oh, no. Those are on fire. That's a dog. That's on fire. So what's this? Safe room. Okay. I mean, credit where it's due. The safe room music in this game, like, immediate first impression, is just... It's a really strong... It, like, it sounds like a very strong kind of uh, safe room theme. I mean, realistically, Capcom never missed with these. But at the same time, like, I don't know, it's just got that kind of general unease to it. The RE2 one also did. Also, I have a feeling that I'm... I think I know where I'm at. I think Nemesis is introduced soon. And I, I'm going to be totally honest, I know that you get an option uh, whether or not you fight him the first time, you can run away. I straight up don't know if I have enough ammo to bring him down, so I think when he's introduced, I'm probably just going to run for it. Because, okay, I, I don't want to fight those dogs, because one of those is on fire and they can also do damage to me. And also... Okay, there's the bookstore. What's over here? Anything? That is a fire hydrant. Let's keep going. Oh, this is RPD. So, before I go over there, I'm going to go and check the other side. Because I know that RPD is when Nemesis is introduced. And this is locked with a simple lock, so I can't go through. Okay. So, back we go. On towards RPD. And, uh... <laughs> The danger zone. You know what? Because I know I'm going to get jumped by Nemesis, I'm just going to pull out the shotgun just in case. Okay. Into RPD we go.
Okay, so now we got the first kind of live decision making option. Do we fight Nemesis or run? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click fight with the monster because I'm working on the logic that in the remake, when you get to RPD as Carlos later, uh, uh, there was something that Brad had and it carried through here. Oh, he is actually just running at me. Okay, you know what? Let's run away like a big hero. Sorry, Nemesis. I'll fight you later when I feel remotely confident in my chances of winning. Okay. Okay, he can't get in here. If there's one thing I know, it's that Nemesis cannot enter safe rooms. So for now, I'm safe. Which is very good, because we love to be safe inside a safe room. Oh, I guess I need to be on the other side of this desk to pick up these handgun bullets. Or maybe just better aligned with them. Anyway, I now have plenty of handgun bullets, hopefully enough to get me through here. It's a police station map. So we now have a map of the RPD. Fortunately, I know the RPD pretty well. Terminal con controls the security system. I could operate it if I had a STARS card. So, uh, if we check this, a card of some kind is inside the card case. So now we have the stars card. So, so what do you do if you don't pick that up off of bread? Do you just have to figure it out something else? Due to the emergency, the key of the stars office has been moved to the evidence room. The password for the safe is, sorry, today's password for the safe is 4312. Okay, also... Uh, I just want to note, they have just an image of the lab from RE1 on there. You know, that's totally not suspicious or evil at all. Totally not an umbrella thing. And I don't have a item box in here. Okay, so I guess I will just go to the evidence room. Yeah, I'll go to the evidence room, get the stuff there, come back and save, I think. That was instinct reaction. I didn't want to use the shotgun there, but it kind of came at me real fast, so I needed to make a decision. I mean, someone has made quite the mess in here, but also there's the, uh, the Groucho Marx glasses and everything. But it doesn't look... Oh, there are, there are more zombies in here. Two, three, four, five... Also, I do like how they still have the welcome, Leon, over there. It's obviously a much kind of smaller banner here. Have I... Okay, that one had bled out. That was maybe a little bit unsafe for me to do that. Now I'm going to just kind of try to take these out. I'm going to take these out before I move on. Because I do not want to deal with these zombies if I can avoid them. I mean, I say that as I am dealing with those zombies, but... Okay. Dead? Dead. Good. I love it when the zombies are dead, because it means I don't have to worry about them anymore. Okay. So yeah, this... The RPD was kind of set up... Well, this room, at least, was set up for Leon's welcome party. Nothing special. All over here. Okay, so... Oh, hey, Marvin. How are you doing, buddy? It's RPD Officer Marvin Branner. Uh, he's been fatally wounded by zombies. He appears to be holding something in his hand. Marvin's report. September 24th. There are reports of a theft in the, muni in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel-decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of, the, two of the twelve gems that are installed on the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers at this time, I have no choice but to suspend in the research of this case. Signed, Marvin Branner. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. Anyway, report September 26th. It's based on an autopsy report of a 42-year-old restaurant owner, I've discovered that he's been that he has one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Since, uh, since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case. At this time, we'll keep the gem as evidence. Signed, Marvin. Okay, so that tells us that there will also be a gem in there. Also, uh, I know that RE3 takes place too. Like, part of it is at, like, the same time as RE2, some of it's after. So I assume... Oh, 
Um, September 29th for Michael Festival. So I assume that this bit is like after Leon and Claire have been here. I, I think. Okay, so with that, we find a gem. That's very nice for me. And I made a mistake, because... Uh, is there an enemy in here? There isn't. Fantastic. Okay, so num uh, number-based lock. So it was four, three, one, two. And now we have the key. Well, we have access to the key. But I can't hold any more items, so I'm going to have to run out... Uh, and find a save room or an item box. I have an awful feeling there might have been one in. That is a very un zombie like looking zombie. Like, that just looked like a lady who was a bit bloody. Okay. Fortunately for me, these zombies seem to be okay at keeping their distance. No, wait, that's my shotgun. I want my handgun bullets. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You dead, buddy? Okay, buddy. Thank you for dying. I greatly appreciate your cooperation. Your cooperation. I can't words today. But this should be another safe room. Okay, good. This is still a safe room because it was an RE2. And that... Okay, David's memo. My sanity is at its end. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man and yesterday, Maya, one of our better marksmen. He saw me panic once we were overrun by the zombies, but he came back to save me. He, uh, by, but when and the time came to return the dad, I ran. I still, I can still hear him calling out my name. I can still hear the screams coming from behind, and the sound of his flesh being stripped from its bones. I was afraid, terrified. It's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. Now I'm cutting through the chill with whiskey, unloading my Mossberg on anything undead. That shotgun's become a close friend of mine. I've blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. We lost we've lost 13 men as of yesterday. In three hours, we'll bicker over trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this bottle, my old friend Mossber Mossberg will be to- Uh, will be sorry. When I finish this bottle, my old friend Mossberg will be turning one last body into fertilizer. Peace at last. I can hardly wait. Well, that's... Uh, very depressing, but also... Given his situation, understandable, to be totally honest. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up today's episode here. But before I do anything else, I am going to just start putting stuff away. I'm going to keep a hold of the stars card because I might need it when I get to the stars office because I know the stars office should just be upstairs as and I also need to go and pick up that key. I'll run out and pick up that key before I end off of the episode actually because if I don't I'll forget about it and will be and will end up getting lost and feel very stupid about it but let's see if there's anything else in here. Okay we found some gunpowder so I can make more handgun bullets Honestly, now knowing that Nemesis is uh, present in game, I'm a little more concerned about having shotgun shells, which is weird. I'm oh oh yeah right. I didn't kill that zombie. <laughs> oh well. Uh, you know what? I will perhaps against my better judgment, I'll leave that one alive. I'll leave that one alive. It can tell the others. Also, I I was very worried about this room. Because in my RE2 playthrough, I nearly died in here because there was like six zombies and I was not prepared for there to be that many. And I think I just got stuck on a wall there for a second, but hey, I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain, and this is fine. I also went the wrong way. 10 out of 10, not even once I am good at this game sometimes. Okay, I say I'm good at this game, I haven't actually played this before. Again, I mentioned it earlier, but I have played the remake, but I haven't played this original version. So, while there will be some bits that I'm vaguely familiar with, there'll be some parts that I'll be vaguely familiar with, but in general, I am pretty much playing this blind. Okay, so let's pick up the rest of the ink ribbons so I can add them, just so I can kind of add them to the pile, really. 
And now, let's combine these, save our game, and end off today's episode. Okay, so, today we managed to start RE3, and I haven't died yet, so I'll, I'll call that a success. I temporarily managed to escape from Nemesis. So, uh, I'm going to end off today's episode here. Next time we'll be continuing RE3. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, so I'm going to end off today's episode here. As always, feel free to leave a comment or click any of the buttons down below if you feel so inclined. And I will hopefully see you all next time as we continue Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Okay, thanks for watching. Later.